The United Arab Emirates have been a big supporter of WISIS and its mission since its inception in 2003. And I'm delighted to have as a guest from the UAE delegation, Lieutenant Colonel Mohammed Al Ahmed. Uh, Colonel, Lieutenant Colonel, how are you? Fine, and yourself? Welcome, and thanks for spending the time with us today. Now, we've had a lot of progress in your country uh, in terms of the implementation of information and communication technologies. Um, we've launched a large number of e and smart services for the government to interact with its population. Tell me about that process. How did you do that and how are you able to achieve quite high targets so quickly? Uh, you know, as you know, that uh, United Arab Emirates, we have uh, a wide leadership and uh, government who are always keen in uh, making people happy, uh, feeling safe, and their life are in comfort. So providing services, you know, that was one of the main uh, vision of the, our leaders in the United Arab Emirates. As a matter of fact, there is a national vision, 2021, where that, you know, to put United Arab Emirates uh, rank in the most, the best uh, countries in providing high quality services to the public. So that the project, e transformation project, was uh, you know part or one of the initiatives which that will meet that vision of the government. So we had about 339 services which we needed to put into smart and e services to deliver those uh, services with high quality to the public through different ICT uh, information technology channels, okay. websites, mobile phones, uh, chaos, all these different channels. So you had a, an ambitious goal, it's fair to say. Um, what were the major challenges for you in meeting that goal? We had you know, a couple of challenges actually. You know, first and biggest challenge we had at uh, e-services readiness, as a matter of fact. We are, in the Ministry of Interior, considered to be a very large uh, ministry and government body that delivers services to the public, to entire public. Everybody in the society, everybody in the community, you know, will need, you know, such a service, no matter how old or where he is from, that, you know, those services need to be. In the back office, you know, that, you know, to make uh, the e-services readiness, you know, you need a couple of, you know, different application, different database. You need to incorporate in line with you are developing your e-services. So that was one of the biggest challenges we had. Uh, simultaneously, you know, other team were working along with the e-services uh, team and making sure that we are ready for those uh, services. Other challenge we had is that integration with other uh, governmental bodies, you know, because they have different database, they have different uh, application, and because we are dealing with many, many uh, governmental bodies as well, so that was a big challenge we address, and we have uh, met that challenge successfully. Okay, so integrating all the various government bodies yes. to better face towards the, the population. Yeah, this, to, this is your challenge. To eliminate uh, the customer, you know, just because he needs to deal with only one uh, government body. He doesn't need or she doesn't need to have different uh, body of government, you know, to go by and finish their uh, requirements. Okay, so it sounded like a reasonably tough process. There's a lot to do. Definitely. What did you learn from the process and what is the next step? Uh, first of all, you know that the best and the best uh, point we have learned from this project that we have created uh, a one uh, governance uh, customer service. Uh, I would call a shop. You know, if you are in because you know United Arab Emirates, we have about seven different emirates across the country. So I mean, when you deal with uh, Ministry of Interior, if you are in Abu Dhabi, 
So you go to customer service. It's like exactly you have the same feeling when you go to Sharjah and you deal with that customer service. So having concise uh, customer service with the same uh, technology, with the same uh, governance, that was one of the things that we learned from this project. Actually, what's the next step? I mean, uh, again, we learned from our leadership that, you know, we don't stop somewhere. You know, we are always having something new to deliver. We have something. So we are thinking always what is the initiatives or what's the innovations in delivering the services to uh, public to make them and to ensure that they are happy, they are safe, they are, you know, dealing and receiving the services with happiness and with their comfort and their comfort zone as well. Well, Mr. Al Ahmed, we wish you all the best with that project and thank you for your time today. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.